The 2022 campaign for Major League Baseball is over, and it now is award season. The Baseball Writers Association of America is going to be listing their contenders for each award in Major League Baseball. The Rookie of the Year, the Cy Young, the Most Valuable Player, and today's award discussion, the Manager of the Year. So, let's get into it. What's going on, baseball fans? Jeremy Latacuente here for the Baseball Banter Broadcast. Now, as we look at the National League Manager of the Year award, there are quite a few worthy contenders. Buck Walter of the Mets, Dave Roberts of the Dodgers, Rob Thompson of the Phillies, Craig Council of the Brewers. But to me, none have exemplified the Manager of the Year award more than Oliver Marmol of the St. Louis Cardinals. To deal with the impending retirements of two legendary Cardinals players in Yadier Molina and Albert Pujols, being able to handle the situation in the spotlight that has been brought on by Albert Pujols chasing 700 home runs. And Ali Marmol handled it extremely well. You're also dealing with the will he won't he retirement of Adam Wainwright. So being able to handle this, chase down the Brewers and ultimately take hold of the National League Central Division and run away with it really exemplifies just how good Ali Marmol has been. And to me, he's the manager of the year in the National League. As we look at the American League side of things, there are quite a few number of contenders as well. Aaron Boone of the New York Yankees, Dusty Baker of the Houston Astros, Scott Service of the Seattle Mariners, but none more so in my opinion than Brandon Hyde of the Baltimore Orioles. When you look at what Baltimore was supposed to be this season in the American League East, they were expected to be the doormat. Whoever beat up on the Baltimore Orioles the most was going to be the team that won the division. However, the Baltimore Orioles and Brandon Hyde found themselves at the precipice of the postseason picture. They were just eliminated a few games ago into the regular season's end. And I think that when you have this core of young players playing the way that they have, Brandon Hyde did a tremendous job of being able to navigate and manage these young players as they grow in their craft, but also being able to handle the expectations and the weight load that came with chasing a postseason spot and you given all of that into consideration in a very difficult division where arguably going into the season there was potentially four contenders for a world series crown coming out of this division and baltimore wasn't one of them you have to give the crown to brandon hyde of the baltimore orioles but i want to hear from you guys let me know your thoughts your feelings on this down in the comment section below who in your mind is the american league and national league manager of the year let me know those thoughts down in the comments or find me over on twitter at banter underscore baseball to keep the conversation rolling as always keep it locked into the entire glmg family with we sibs the granny geek show and of course here on the baseball banter broadcast by hitting the subscribe button on all three channels for sticking around to this point head over to baseballbanterbroadcast.com use the promo code banter to save five percent off your order keep it locked in all season long as i continue to look at the latest news notes and my personal thoughts theories and opinions on the game of major league baseball peace